guys welcome back okay so today I decided to do a full face but I'm using this Too Faced Marial Amore Caliente palette <laughs> I just happened to come across this palette I'm not sure if it was Ulta or Sephora but I thought it was really pretty and wanted to try it out so of course before we get started I have to go ahead and get these brows together so I'm just kind of brushing the little bit of brows I have in place and to fill in my brows I've been using this pure on point pencil it's actually an eyeliner pencil but I've been using it for my brows because I really like the color and it stays put now to clean up my brows I'm using my wet n wild concealer as usual just to kind of you know make them look a little bit nicer a little bit neater so that's basically my favorite combo for my brows right now nothing fancy now before we get started of course i have to prep my lids and i'm using my p louise base in the shade rumor 04. i decided to go ahead and do some swatches of this palette because i wasn't really sure uh, what I wanted to do and I wanted to get a feel for what the shadows look like swatched out as you can see some really pretty mattes in here there's a glitter some really pretty shimmers as well I think the color story is very pretty actually very very pretty it kind of makes me feel like Valentine's Day though so the first shade I'm going into is it looks like a Morcito bright bright pink super bright pink and it is gorgeous as you can see extremely pigmented so i just pop that on the inner portion of my lid next i'm going into hot and spicy which is the really deep dark red shade in here it's almost like a kind of like a deep brown red tone brown honestly but it's very very pigmented very very deep and i love it very very pretty next i'm going into this really pretty like bright orange type shade called slice taking a dense brush and just using that to kind of soften up the edge of that red and also add another kind of dimension of color to this crease work next i'm going into senorita <laughs> senorita and i'm taking a fluffy brush and just using that to kind of blow out the edge of that last color it's kind of like a really light mauvey type shade so i just really went in very very gently with that because i didn't want it to be a dark color you know too dark out there but just gently using that to blend out the edge of those shadows and I just kind of went back and forth just to kind of build up wherever I needed to build up and blow out wherever I need to blow out. So next I decided I wanted to brighten up under my brow bone or on my brow bone just a little bit though as you can see that shadow didn't do much but it did kind of help to blend the other shadows nicely in my brow bone. So for my cut crease, I'm using my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. So I'm just making a line and looking up so I'll know kind of where to place this cut. You know, since my eyes are hooded, I have to kind of create that cut where I want it to be so that you can still see the shimmer on my lid. So that's what I'm doing, just doing kind of like a bold cut crease today. Haven't done one of these in quite a while. So the first color I'm going to be using is that dark red, hot and spicy. And I'm just taking a flat shader brush and starting out by gently tapping it on the outer corner. I know I wanted to leave a negative space so I could have a double cut crease today. So I'm just tapping it down and gently building it up. As you can see, it's getting darker and darker on that outer corner. Next to that, I'm going to put that really pretty bright orange shade slice. Just taking another flat brush, gently tapping that right next to that dark red. And I'm still leaving that negative space there because I don't want to bring it all the way up. I want to make sure I leave that opening there. Now I want to play around with some shimmers. So I'm going into the shade Chili. 
this shimmer is so pretty it's kind of like an orange and pink duochrome type shade very very gorgeous um, I don't know if you can kind of see it here but it is kind of like an orange and pink mix for that shimmer there so it blended in real nice with that orange shade that I placed down you know the matte one it blended out really really nice with that and I thought it was very very pretty very very nice so I'm going to go ahead clean up the edge of this cut crease of course I can't leave it looking crazy <laughs> so I'm just cleaning it up with a wet wipe making a nice sharp edge now I'm going in with some black liquid liner just to kind of create a nice line for me to place my false lashes on didn't want anything too bold so I didn't create a big wing with it and I didn't really want it to be super super dark in that corner so just taking a little bit of that dark red shadow and just tapping it on top of that the corners of that eyeliner a little bit so for my face I'm going to be moisturizing today with my elf hello hydration face cream like I said I'm still using my last shop my stash items it's about time for me to shop again you guys so I'm just kind of getting my last uses out of this one love this moisturizer so to prime my face I'm using my Farsali this is the skin tune blur I actually got this from the boxy pop-up really good deal um and it is really nice <laughs> i really love this primer and i hate that because i know it's kind of pricey for foundation i'm using my nars soft matte foundation and i'm going in with a little bit of my elemis rose oil um i noticed that this foundation is very very matte in my opinion and I wanted it to be a little bit more dewy, not so matte today. So I just mixed some of that oil in there with it using a smaller brush just so I can place it down exactly where I want it to be since I do have such a detailed eye look today before I go in with my sponge. So just taking it, basically painting my face. <laughs> you know how we do. And now I'm going in with one of my pawpaw sponges and just kind of blending that out making sure it's nice and even all over my face and just kind of pressing it in you know to get a nice smooth finish for my concealer today I'm using this lip bar concealer that I pull, pulled for my shop my stash and it's a decent enough concealer you guys I like it it's nice it's moisturizing it's not drying it has decent coverage I can't say it's my new favorite or anything like that but I really don't have any complaints about it it is it's a decent concealer I think if you want to try it out you definitely should I'm loving the lip bar products that I've chosen to uh, try out and this is no different so to set that in place you guys know I am using my DJ's boutique loose powder I like the shade honey I actually haven't used my banana yet but I'm kind of addicted to the honey right now so just using that to set all of my concealed areas on my face and to set the rest of my face, I'm using my Full Spectrum CoverGirl Powder. This is actually a powder foundation. And I love it. <laughs> I do. I just have to say, I have no complaints about it. It sets my face nicely. I think it's a good color for me. And it holds my makeup in place a good portion of the day. Now I'm going in with my Lip Bar Face Palette. There's bronzer, contour, blush, highlight, everything in here. But I'm using it for the bronzer today. And as you can see, this bronzer, very, very nice. You can see it, nice warm color. It builds up nicely, not too heavy. And it blends out really easily. So I love this face palette. Another great Lip Bar product. For my blush, I'm trying out this J Cat Love Struck blush. I have this one in the shade Puddin' Pop. I love that cute little cat. This stuff is pigmented, okay, you guys? Very pigmented, but I love it. Now, you see that little shine that is coming off, you know, from the highlighted cat that was in the imprint of the blush oh my gosh i fell in love with that today i thought it looked so pretty with this eye look and i didn't have to use a highlighter 
For lashes, I'm using my Luna Magic Lashes and I'm actually putting the glue right on my lash line. Sometimes it's a little easier for me to apply my lashes this way as opposed to putting the glue on the lashes. It just kind of depends on how I feel. But that's how I did it today and these lashes had a nice amount of length and volume. I really like them. Added a little mascara to my own lashes to blend them in. For my lower lash line, I'm using just a basic black eyeliner pencil. I don't even remember which one this is. I'm going into the palette again to pull that dark red because I want to smoke out this lower lash line. I don't want anything too crazy down there, but I do want to add some of that color. So that's the only color I used on my lower lashes or lower lash line. So for my inner corner pop, I decided to go ahead and go with the orange shade in the palette. So I used Pantera and I sprayed my brush as you saw and I'm just tapping that on my inner corner. I really liked it. I thought it was really pretty with this eye look, something a little different. For my lower lashes, I'm just using my pure fully charged mascara from my shop, my stash. Now I forgot to record me doing my lips. I just used the NYX lip liner along with one of my Milani matte lipsticks in the shade Darling. And I thought it was a good match for this. I truly feel like this is a Valentine's Day palette, you guys. I don't know. I know it says love. It's about love. And I definitely feel that that's what it conveys. So hopefully you enjoy watching me create this look. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Toodles!